<laughs> and finally, new rule, I don't need to know why Trump fired James Comey. I need to know why everyone else in that administration still has a job. Mm. Starting with, the man Donald Trump trusts so much, he lets him take out his girlfriend. <laughs> You know, they call, they call Jared Kushner Trump's boy wonder because what anyone sees in him, boy, really makes you wonder. <laughs> but Trump thinks so highly of his son-in-law, he didn't just give him one important job, he gave Jared all of them. And so tonight, in commemoration of the one-year anniversary of the day the world came to an end, <laughs> we thought we'd introduce a new department here called Checking In On Jared. <laughs> So let's start with what Trump said to Jared right at the beginning. If you can't produce peace in the Middle East, nobody can. Yeah, because really, who better to earn the trust of the Palestinians than an Orthodox Jew who specializes in aggressively acquiring real estate? <laughs> but, but bringing peace to the Middle East was only the beginning of Jared's assignments. You remember the list. Reinventing government, renegotiating old trade deals, resetting relations with Mexico and China and Canada, solving the opioid crisis, reimagining the Veterans Administration, rebuilding highways, bridges, dams, sewers, and power lines, and providing broadband internet to everyone in America. And then on Tuesday... <laughs> so let's check in and see how Jared has done. Trade deals, well... He's most of the way through NAFTA's Wikipedia page. <laughs> uh, reinventing government. Yeah, that's one way to put it. <laughs> Roads and bridges. Well, we do look better than we did a year ago, but that's just compared to Puerto Rico. <laughs> Diplomacy with China. Nothing. Diplomacy with Mexico, nothing. Diplomacy with Canada, nothing. Up, oh, well, wait, no. <laughs> well, Ivanka did I fuck the Prime Minister. <laughs> but basically nothing. The White House office on innovation doesn't even have a website. You know, of all Trump's lies, maybe the most galling is, we're gonna get the best people. I know the best people. I want the best people. We're going to use our smartest and our best. We're going to get the best people. We want experts, our finest people. <sighs> Calm down, bad ape. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. Bad ape smart. Pick best people. <laughs> like Rick Perry and Ben Carson, the lethal weapon of bovine brain-eating disease. <laughs> Nikki Haley was governor of South Carolina. And, of course, when you think South Carolina, you think United Nations. <laughs> so Trump made her our UN ambassador, where she is now dissing the Iran nuclear deal because she has a doctorate in physics. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I say doctorate in physics? I meant a bachelor's degree in accounting she got so she could help out at her mom's clothing shop. <laughs> Last week, we met Sam Clovis a right-wing talk radio host who Trump nominated to be chief scientist at the Department of Agriculture, despite the fact that he is not a scientist. And his experience with agriculture is limited to the mushrooms growing in the folds of his neck. <laughs> the new chief at NASA has no science background either. He ran the Air and Space Museum in Tulsa. He doesn't know how rockets work. He knows how much to charge for a T-shirt that says, I got a peek at Uranus. <laughs> Victoria Barton, two years ago, was a bartender. Now she does congressional relations for HUD. And when things are slow, she cuts up limes. <laughs> <It's a bartender. laughs> <laughs> She's working alongside Lynn Patton, who came to the attention of Trump's crack team of headhunters 
because she was Eric Trump's wedding planner. Now, in her defense, she did tell the DJ not to play Money Money. <laughs> but there's just no rules anymore. Sarah Huckabee Sanders is your boss's niece in charge of office birthdays. But now she's the spokesperson for the most powerful man in the world. Stephen Miller is the guy who made every creepy thought you ever had a thousand times creepier. <laughs> like when you said, let's sneak into the girls' locker room, and he said, and kill them? <laughs> His job, senior advisor for policy. These are the best people. Hot dog on a stick goes through a more vigorous vetting process. <laughs> Because in Trump world, the only qualification that matters is massaging his ego. You do that, and you can get Trump to do anything. Just ask these guys. <laughs>